Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Simple Shop X plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which makes it super easy for your players to create their own shops to sell various items and get another item in return. So in front of me we have a little demo which we're going to look at later. But the plugins that we need is obviously the Simple Shop X plugin and ID Library, which is the only dependency you need. So if we take a look at the sign, we can see who the owner is, the item they're selling, and the price in items. So in this case it's one diamond for 16 iron ingots, and we can see that by left clicking. And to buy it, all we need to do is right click. So if you use an item in your hand that's not an iron ingot, it won't allow you to buy the item. So what we need to do is put the iron ingots in our hand and right click. And what that will do is take away 16 and give us one diamond. And then we can obviously spam it until we are out of iron ingots completely. And you can see all of the items will get stored in the chest and the owner can come back later and pick them up. So if we were to continue doing this, we went mining for ages and got loads of iron ingots, you will see that the shop will eventually run out of diamonds. So if I take a few of these out now, until we have maybe a few left, so only three left, and give ourselves some iron ingots and try and buy four more, well, it's not going to allow us because it says the shop is empty. So in that case, the owner would have to come back and refill it with diamonds. So let's go ahead and make one of our own now. So we need to pop down the chest and we need to decide what items we want to buy and sell. So if we open up the chest and in the top left hand corner, this is going to be the item that we're selling. So let's go ahead and put some stone um, and we're going to sell two stone and that's going to be for the item that they would buy it for. So the price, so that's going to be four wood for two stone. Now what we need to do is put a sign on the front with shop in square brackets and that will create it. So we can see there is two stone for four oak planks. So now that I'm on my other account, what we can do is attempt to use the shop. So at the moment, there isn't any items inside of it and we can refill it. So as you can see, we need four planks for this shop and we will buy two stone, but now it's completely empty. So let's go ahead and put all this stone back in and then we can go ahead and spam right click on the shop and buy loads of stone uh, for four planks each. So now we are out of uh, planks, we cannot buy any more and that is how you do it. So you set up a shop and you can fill it with all of the items that you want to sell so in this case, all of the stone, and then in return, we will get oak planks. So that is how you would create your own shop. It's really fantastic, uh, so easy to do, and probably the easiest shop plugin that I've seen around for players to use. So if you want to download this plugin, come to the Spigot page. It's a brand new plugin updated a few days ago. It's got some great information and gifts here, and also permissions to give your players to be able to buy and sell and create their own shops, etc. Make sure you get the dependency, and if you've got any problems, contact the developer. If you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.